Besides Josh Adoritz is here. There is a reason why Florida is called the lightning capital of the U.S. It kills more people in Florida than any other state. Josh, one already yeah. this year. Yeah, and, looking into why. and well, it's pretty simple. Actually, the National Weather Service says it comes down to the fact we get more lightning here than other places do, and we've got a lot of people here, so the odds aren't in our favor. 43 lightning bolts on this map right here. One for every deadly lightning strike in this state since 2012, and uh, that deadly lightning strike that we just mentioned this year in Florida, right here on I-95, you remember there's a motorcyclist uh, who was uh, hit while they were riding the helmet just blown right out. Unbelievable. Last year, 33 year old James Barton, he was killed by lightning on Siesta Key Beach uh, as he was trying to get to shelter. And before that, there's been so many others, including this 81 year old army veteran. He was killed in Largo in 2015, hit by lightning while he was just out on his daily walk. And then this one still six with so many people. Justin Inverso, who was 21, a lifeguard at Adventure Island in Tampa in 2011. He was killed by lightning as he was standing at about two to three feet of water. So no doubt when it comes to keeping yourself safe, there are some misconceptions out there. For example, and this is one I just learned tonight, the CDC says stay away from concrete floors or leaning against concrete walls because lightning can travel through the metal wires or the bars inside of them. Uh, this one here, no, lightning does not only strike the tallest thing, so don't assume that that lightning squat, uh, if you're caught outside, you're still at risk, even close to the ground. And finally, if you do hear thunder, don't wait to count to 30 because there's already a good chance, Catalina, that lightning is close enough to be dangerous. Well, Josh, you know, we are going all in on lightning tonight because we want to make sure that you and your family stay safe. Listen to this. Your chances of getting struck by lightning in Florida, one in 3,000 times over your lifetime. It just takes one bolt, of course. You can find out how lightning works and how, of course, to protect yourself. Go to youtube.com slash 10 news WTSP.